Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, I will be showing you a really easy trick to solve this given arithmetic progression or sometimes we call it arithmetic sequence problem. And here is the question. It states, in an arithmetic progression, if a sub 10 equals to 38 and a sub 16 equal to 74, then find the value of a sub 31. In other words, if the 10th term is 38, 16th term is 74, what is going to be 31st term? As we can see from this given information, a sub 10 equals to 38 and a sub 16, the 16th term is 74 and we are looking for a sub 31 and here in the very first step we are going to find the value of the common difference d as we can see we have been given a of 10 equals to 38 and also we know a of 16 equals to 74 and here is the simple common difference formula it states if a sub m equal to s and a sub n equals to t, then the common difference would be equal to the ratio of their differences. In other words, this given information can lead us to the common difference equals to, in our case, s is 38 minus the t is 74 divided by in our case m is 10 minus n is 16 let's simplify this thing so on the top that is going to give us negative 36 and at the denominator is going to be negative 6 so that means our d turns out to be positive 6 and in this step number 2 we are going to find the 31st term that means a sub 31 equal to how much so that means a sub 31 we don't know and among these two between these two given values over here we are going to pick the simple or easiest one and the easier one is a sub 10 so I am going to pick a of 10 equal to 38. And here let's recall our arithmetic progression formula. It states a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. If this subscript 1 is over here then it's gonna same number gonna show up right up here so then we can write this as a general wherever you see 1 I can write down m over here and once again 1 can be replaced by m now we got this general form of this arithmetic progression formula is a sub n equal to a sub m plus n minus m times d. So thus in our case over here I'm going to call this 31 as an n and this 10 as an m and now I am going to write down this formula right up here a sub n equal to a sub m plus n minus m times d let's fill in the blanks right now over here we know that a sub n is a sub 31 i'm going to write down just right here a sub 31 and in our case a sub m is a sub 10 plus in our case n is 31 minus a sub n is 10 and we know from the previous step d is 6 let's simplify that one so we are going to write down a of 31 equal to we know that a of 10 is 
38 I am going to replace this one by 38 plus 38 take 31 take away 10 is 21 times 6 let's simplify furthermore so that's gonna be 38 plus 126 let's add it together and that's gonna give us 164 as a sub 31 so that's our 31st term is turned out to be 164 Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.